Hi, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. You know, a book is so much better when you read with a friend. Yep, that's right. Hi, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. You know, a story is so much better when you get to share it with your friends. <laughs> yes, 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 that's right. So today, we are going to do something slightly different. Today, I am going to share with you a story. And you are going to use your imagination station and illustrate your thinking. Yes. And if you're brave enough, you can post it in the comments. Yes, indeed. Are you ready? So the title of this story is called Cloud Show. And the author of the story is Dana McCall. You guessed it. That's me. <laughs> and the illustrator, the person that drew the pictures, there are none today. So you are going to be the illustrator. Are you ready? Okay, <laughs> let's dive in. Prince Duke and Marcus headed outside because it was a beautiful day. Too good to waste inside of the house, they needed to go out and play. They played outside all morning long and only went in to eat. They went back out, they played so hard, boy, they were beat. Out in the sun, it wasn't too hot, so they plopped onto the ground. Heads to the sky, backs to the grass. They decided to look up and around. Hey, I know a game that we can play. Let's look up at the clouds and watch the sky show. Clouds are so cool. They shape shift. Did you know? We all turned our bodies so that our feet could nearly touch and we describe the scene we seen as we looked up. I saw a dragon breathing fire from his mouth, but no one else could see what I saw. Duke said that he could see a bunny, and that was all. Marcus was convinced that there was a shoe. But who was correct? Who? No way, there is no dragon, Duke started to argue. Yes, it is, I held my ground. What is wrong with you? I tried and tried to help him see, but he just refused to listen. So I tried to see what he saw, but I changed my position. I rotated my body inch by inch, but still I could not see it. Then suddenly there it was, a shoe, just as Marcus had described it. Still, Duke could only see what he'd made up in his head. I started to get frustrated, but I turned my body instead. I asked some questions and there it was, smack dab in front of me. There it is, I said with excitement, a bunny. Well, that was fun. I hope you had as much fun as I did. But until next time, don't forget to read, bro. And check out our other stories. If you like this one, you'll love the rest. You take care. Bye, friends.